this is my room when I was growing up as a foster kid. There was two beds in here, one bed against there and one bed against there. Years later, after her foster mother passed away, Louise and her husband Keith bought the house to raise their own family. I got three kids of my own um, and I adopted five kids, eight kids was raised here. Their sense of security was shattered in 2013. There was a knock on the door and this guy said, could I speak to Louise or Keith? And I said, I'm Louise. And he said, is it okay if I give you these papers? And he said, because your house just been bought. I just bought your house. And he said it had been sold at an auction. Uh, you can imagine how these people felt. They had a house full of children. They lived in the house for many years. So to be told to get out, particularly when you don't have any place to go, uh, no, that's very traumatic. Louise and Keith were told they had to vacate their home in a week. I noticed like not having anywhere to go because as I was growing up as a kid, I was putting at least more than 20 different foster homes, foster home to foster homes. I don't want my kids to go through the same thing. A colleague at work told Louise about public counsel. It was only because public counsel filed suit in Superior Court that we were able to get that eviction stopped ultimately. Even after the eviction was stopped, the harassment didn't end. The investor who bought the property continued and was very aggressive in continuing the eviction, even though we made it very clear that the foreclosure sale itself was completely unlawful. We was getting telephone calls, right. knocked at, knocks at the door every time I get ready to go to work. And when I'm at work, the kids would tell me that they were knocking on the door and saying, you guys need to move. Threatened with a lawsuit, the investor finally backed down. I mean, this is why I do this job. I became a lawyer so I could, you know, help people fight injustice and fight against, you know, these big behemoth institutions that there's no way they could fight on their own. They stepped in. They stepped up to the plate and hit a home run for us, for our family. And we're totally grateful for that, eternally grateful.